This is a news update for InfoLive TV, August 30th. I'm Margot Rutkevich. Outgoing UN envoy Michael Williams said the United Nations member states must insist that Hezbollah produce evidence of the two soldiers, Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev, they abducted a year ago, and whether they are alive. Don Salam, a resident of Wadi Nisnas in Haifa, who was critically wounded by a Katyusha rocket attack in last year's war, succumbed to his wounds on Wednesday night, becoming the 156 Israeli fatality. Hours after three Palestinian children were killed in an IDF attack in Gaza on Wednesday afternoon, the army said that while it makes every effort not to harm civilians, Palestinians must keep their children out of the battle zone. The army targeted Qassam rocket launches in northern Gaza when the children were hit. Shortly before the strike, a number of rockets were fired at Israel. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas warned that a U.S.-sponsored international peace conference planned for November could fail if no full plan for a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is devised ahead of the meeting. Citizens of former Soviet nations will no longer be required to obtain visas before entering Israel after the government unanimously voted to change the law. Israel's foreign ministry is already working on a mutual agreement with Russia. Ali Bariatwan, editor-in-chief of Al-Quds al-Arabi newspaper published in London, said in an interview on Lebanese television that he would dance in Trafalgar Square if Iranian missiles hit Israel. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, Ockets, the Army's crack canine unit, where camouflage paint replaces lipstick. The great debate, will a two-state solution solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.